Hello and welcome. My name is Rosanna Quintieri. Today I'm going to speak about the English Language Foundations Program at SAIT. I'd like to start off with our land acknowledgement. We would like to acknowledge that SAIT is situated on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, which today encompasses the Indigenous people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta the Saksika, the Bikani, the Kainai, the Tsutina, the Stony Nakoda First Nations, and the Northwest Métis. Our agenda for today is as follows. I'd like to provide uh, an overview of the levels, the course information, admission requirements, level placement, course schedule. I'll share the upcoming program dates, I'll touch on cost and funding information, and at the end, I'll provide you with our contact information. ELF levels. In this program, there are five levels. Each level is two months long, and each week has 22 hours of course instruction. And the total length of the program depends on your CLBA, and IELTS score. So in terms of course information, we have two courses per level and the courses are communications which focuses on reading and writing and speech which focuses on listening and speaking. Admission requirements. As you can see here, there are uh, different ways that you can use your proficiency scores to apply to the program. You can use CLBA, CLBPT, IELTS scores, or LINK scores. And this is a deeper dive into our level placement. As you can see here, we discuss which level applies to the different categories as discussed in the previous slide. For example, ELF level 5, you would need an IELTS score of 5.5. Or for ELF level 2, you would need a CLBA score of 5. Our course schedule is 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., or 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Please keep in mind that ELF Level 1 is only available from 12 to 5 p.m. And schedule times for levels 2 to 5 change based on student enrollment. We have some programming dates. As I mentioned earlier, our uh, terms are two months long. So our next term that we're registering for is from January 9th to March 3rd. Following that, we have March 6th to April 28th, and May 8th to June 30th, and July 4th to August 25th. There are many opportunities for you to join our program. On this slide, I'd like to uh, inform you about our tuition fees. Uh, domestic students, depending on whether they take one course or two courses, have the fees illustrated here, and illustrate international students can take uh, two courses in two months, and this is the fee that is associated with that. Foundational learning funding. Please keep in mind that funding may be available, and if you're eligible for the funding, you can get the following benefits, either tuition or income support. Please keep in mind that income support depends on your financial situation. I have the following points that determine your eligibility. For example, are you a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident? Um, are you 18 years of age or older? Are you out of high school? So many different factors determine your eligibility. For next year, our new funding will be available for the May 2023 term. Please keep in mind that there are a limited number of funded seats available. 
also plan your schedules eight to ten weeks in advance to apply for funding and contact uh, funding at state.ca if you have more questions. This is our funding process. As you can see, you start off with creating and verifying your Alberta Digital ID account and working through the steps will help you arrive at a funding decision. English language proficiency. At SAGE, uh, it's important to demonstrate your English language proficiency in the following ways. For example, um, have you completed uh, three years of full-time study taught in English? Or do you have, have you successfully, successfully completed a post-secondary credit course in English? Or you can successfully complete uh, the English Language Foundations program taking calm and speech courses. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you for joining me. Once again, my name is Rosanna Quincieri. If you have questions, you can contact us at english.language at state.ca. Our phone number is also 403-210-4045. We're happy to answer your questions about registering for the program, whether you're a domestic or international student. And we'd love to answer your questions about uh, funding, um, and also any other questions that are related to uh, English proficiency and learning here at SAIT. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to learn about the English Language Foundations program.